What's up, you fools? Matt, ESC United, your favorite Eurovision channel. Let's continue our expert panel series where we discuss and review and rank all of the songs. Now, as you hear, it is North Macedonia. North Macedonia, as we all know, went through a recent name change. And maybe, maybe that is just the perfect time to put also a stop to their unfortunate run at the contest, at least as of late. So the last time they qualified was actually in 2012, which is what, seven years ago? So um, the broadcaster, once again, they picked a singer internally. It's Tamara Tudeska. And the name of the song is Proud. Tell them, raise your voice and say it loudly. Show them what it means to stand up proudly. So Tamara, in case you guys don't know, she previously represented the country at the contest back in 2008, 11 years ago. So she has probably matured into a different singer. Uh, she also missed qualification back then, but just by a hair. It was really close. Can she do it now? Let's talk this through. The pressure is high. I know it's always a when you know you need to be the one qualifying. Can't you do it with a song? Let's find out. Kelvin, your thoughts. So when like Tamara it? was picked for uh, North Macedonia, I was so excited. She was my number one in 2008. Uh, but to say that I fully knew exactly what to expect would be a lie. And somehow she managed to exceed my already sterling high expectations for her. I think the song is stunning. I think the way she sings it is stunning. I think the lyrics are actually really powerful. They haven't been getting the best response, but I think they're really powerful. I think she commits to them in a really, really fabulous, fabulous way. I love the final chorus when she just like goes for every note that she possibly can. <laughs> The, uh, the last tell them, this is me and thanks to you, I'm proud, is so wonderful. I love this song, two pieces. I also love the video where Tiana Dobchevich makes a cameo. That is awesome. Uh, I have only good things to say about this entry. I think it's perfect. And I think if they stage it right, Macedonia, North Macedonia could be back in the final. Oh, wow. So as you can see, Calvin does not like it. So um, how about you, Melanie? <laughs> Yes, Tamara makes me proud as a girl, because when she's a soft thing, girl, yes, she just touched me, I really feel it, and she really makes me proud every time when I'm hearing that song, and I really have the feeling that she sings it for me, and I really feel that Tamara just sings it personal for me, that I have to be proud, not all the other girls, that I have to be personal proud, thing, yeah. mm -hmm. it's really personal, and I really like it, it's a really classical ballad, um, I only miss something unique about it. It's just a really good song, and I really feel connected to it. I just miss some special something, but mm -hmm. it's great. I can connect to it, and I always feel proud when I hear it. So it's a great song. Well, that mission accomplished there for sure. Yeah. You know, if you feel proud, that's exactly I think what the song set out to accomplish. And yeah, I agree. So it's definitely an empowering, almost like anthem to a certain extent for women. You know, and uh, it was actually released. It was pushed back on purpose to kind of um, coincide with the International Women Day. So there is obviously, you know, a lot of thought put behind it. And the fact, as Calvin pointed out, that it had this, such a strong message behind the song. The so I actually agree that the songs are very well written. And uh, some people are saying it's not, it's cliche. I'm like, no, it, it, it makes sense to me. You know, what are you supposed to write? It makes perfect sense to me. And um, it's well written. Um, and that makes me like that song a lot more. It's the genuine um, thing that really, it just comes from it. I'm a big fan of that, yes. Um, it like, uh, what else am I gonna say? It will even impact at Eurovision. Absolutely, I'm, I'm very confident if it's done right, of course. The studio version is good. I'm gonna be honest, the studio version is good. I enjoy it. It's more, I feel, as of a grower to me. And um, it's gonna be very, very powerful if done right at Eurovision. This is one of the songs on like the staging, the energy, the genuine vibe that comes from needs to be on point at Eurovision. And um, unfortunately, I'm always worried because not North Macedonia has this reputation of butchering the staging. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. Since 2015, 2017, 2018, they cannot afford that here. They can never afford it, but especially 
not this year. If they mess it up, they're, I'm going to say, their ass is grass when it comes to Eurovision this year. It's really make or break. I want them to qualify. This song has the potential uh, of making it happen. I see the jury's embracing this one, if done right. So I'm watching you, North Macedonia. Don't mess it up. That's all I have to say. What about you, Fernando? Well, 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 you took everything from me, but, 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 there are a lot of buts. First of all, I love the song. I love the song. No arguments about that. Some things we should point out. Marketing. This is very important thing. First of all, I, would ne I never expected a song like this coming from North Macedonia. For the simple reason that North Macedonia they are still recovering their part of his jury. And I'm very, very surprised and I'm very happy that this song is coming from a country like North Macedonia. So I think big Ooh, one. Okay. I think marketing wise, they should be more smarter because they should market the song for the underdogs. And the underdogs can connect with it, not just women. There are many underdogs. There are many, many underdogs around. And even though it says girl, 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 but you can connect because let's say many people dictate what they, what they want you to do. Let's start from Matt. He tells me how to look, how to smile, how to act, how to move. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the thing that worries me is the staging. And I hope yes. it's going to be a simple staging, something simple, something that let people connect. The song is in the second semifinal, it's in the second half of the semifinal. So this needs to be birds, undo. It needs to leave this effect, or else. Mm -mm. And the good thing is, Macedonia really give us good songs, but then they fail to connect with people. Yep, it's the last final moment. They just don't seem to that finish line mm -hmm. that they finish. They never the good, cross that. They never close the, the good deal. news is the artist has already been to Eurovision, so she knows the game, and I hope they've learned from their own mistakes. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll find out soon enough. For now, let's judge the song. And I'm sorry, you're going to say something? We're waiting for Tel Aviv. Oh, we're waiting for Tel Aviv. Exactly. Um, how do we rank it? We got encouraging comments here. Will that be reflected in our score? First, let's share our thoughts and then the ESC United score. Uh, Calvin, what did you give it? I don't know if this is going to come as much of a surprise to anybody. Uh, the voice is the perfect combination of technical perfection and like personal... Uh, emotion and connection. I love the song. I love the way it's staged. I love the lyrics. I think it could make a really, really strong impact. We know she can sing the lights out live, and I think she will. Ten points. <laughs> Ooh, ten points. That's a good start. Melanie, what did you get? I gave it a seven points because I, so as I said, I connected the song. I love the song. It's a really classical ballad, but I'm just missing something special on it mm -hmm. because i can connect i think it's beautiful but that special whoa i'm just missing something in the song yes i'm it's the same way as you it's that moment that makes it stand out yes. it doesn't have that special moment. it gets a little bigger at the end and it's nice especially but that one remarkable moment for i think the average viewer is maybe a little missing that's why i'm hoping for the best staging ever and i kind of in the same line with melanie in its current state i'm giving it a 6.5 um but this has the potential to rise up in my ranking if she does it right. And she gives that special something that it needs to really stand out. And she can do it. I believe in her. But once again, don't mess it up. I keep saying that. But it's so true. Uh, Fernando, what's your score? Well, I'm the cheapskate. Everyone you knows that. You always are. Yeah. yeah. Based that it's in the second semifinal. It's in the second half based on, well, we all discussed the staging mess. I gave it a five. Fine. Well, it's still average. At least it's not yeah. low average. No, no, no. Um, I hope, I hope, please, please, Tamara, please, 
give us the best staging ever and connect the song to people because you can do it girl Girl, you can do it, girl. Well, these are our scores, but how did the entire team vote? We all added them up, and now we have the final score for North Macedonia, which is 6.43. That is the final score for North Macedonia. Calvin, as the biggest fan in our team, what do you think? I mean, obviously, I wouldn't mind if it were a little bit higher. <laughs> but um, from what I've seen, the song seems to have a very small camp of people who share my thoughts on it, and then a much, much larger group who share yours. I think as a group of four, we're fairly reflective of where the current attitude on the song is, and so a score that reflects sort of where our minds are on it isn't really a surprise to me. No surprise. How about you, Melanie? Yes, it, it was a surprise. As I said, it's a cute song. It's a beautiful song. People can connect to it. I can connect to it, but it just missed something. And I really think that it's, it's so it's on a hot semifinal. That's and the staging is will be a problem, I think. So I understand the points, but I'm hoping that it will be better. Yeah, I think this is one of the songs, and I come not this the so same song as last year, but you know. You all, you all, everyone has like a personal grower that you know it wasn't that big on your radar, but then after your vision, like, oh, we're doing her, like, oh my god, this is actually really good. Last year, I remember it was Lithuania for me, it was okay, but then I saw the staging, and I'm like, I'm like oh my god, I'm connecting to it now. And I think North Macedonia can be my Lithuania 2018. That is what I'm hoping. The staging needs to be spot on, it needs to be intimate yet powerful at the same time. I'm not telling you what to do because I have no clue, I'm not the choreographer, but hopefully, they're going to do it right. But Everyone, do you agree mostly with Calvin, with the rest of us, or anybody else? Let us know. Leave your thoughts below in the comment section, and we're putting the links in there as well to our website where you can see the full results as well as where you can vote in our poll and see if um, you agree or disagree. Thanks for watching, and uh, we are moving on to the next video. Next review coming up. Have a good day.